I'm going to say a name, and I'm, I just want you to say the person that comes to mind for you. Peyton Mears. Uh, loving, caring, a friend. When we first met, it was um, a football game, and it was like after a football game. She was a cheerleader, and I didn't like really know her at all. Um, but like she was like a huge Tyrone Tracy fan, and uh, you had no choice but to smile, have like true joy, um, happiness with inside you, just because of her emotions and her feelings and her um, just behavior towards you. Um, so it was kind of something that like you really couldn't forget and you couldn't overlook either. Um, you kind of just had to give in because like you you felt the need to um, just match her energy. My mom is a like really big part of my life, um, and you know when I go to her, she always have the right answer. I don't know how she knows, but she knows like what to say, how to say it. Um, and with this, with Peyton, um, I didn't know you know if I was going too far or um, if I wasn't doing enough. And you know me and my mom would just communicate and make sure that um, everything that we was doing we was doing in the right manner and in the right way, so that it wasn't um, you know getting seen as, you know, Tyron Tracy just trying to do something for the internet or trying, Tyron Tracy just trying to do something to get clout to his name. Um, Cause I wanted to be genuine and it really was genuine. Um, it was straight out of love, straight from my heart. And um, that's just something that I wanted to do for Peyton. If, if you had to uh, pick a child that was more like you, it probably would be uh, Tyron cause we get each other. I'm a service person, I always serve, nursing homes and things of that nature. And he's along that uh, that uh, line. He's always looking for ways to be a blessing to people. And it's just a natural thing for him. The 77th meeting between Iowa and Illinois as the Illini come to town. Hawks have won seven in a row, 15 of the last 18. And it's another deal like last week where Iowa has won every matchup inside Kinnick Stadium against Illinois since 1999. Ooh. Big picture, obviously, uh, games in November, uh, very meaningful. Iowa has a lot to play for, and today an opponent that I think feels the same way. They want to play big games in November as well. Senior day is 16. Uh, young men will run down the tunnel one more time from outstanding kicker Caleb Shudak, Van Valkenburg, Riley Moss, Jack Kerner, Ivory Kelly, Kyler Schott. Senior day, very emotional with mom and dad down there. It's a wonderful experience, and uh, these kids are going to enjoy it today. The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Now it's third and six. Ball at the 45-yard line of the Hawks. Back to pass, Peters. Has time, delivers, and another wide-open receiver. Down the near sideline, first down, out of bounds. Illinois had the bye week to throw in some new wrinkles, and they obviously put some things in that the Hawks weren't prepared for, like this one. Empty with five wides. Peterson throws in a quick slant. Wide open, touchdown, Illinois. Wide open was Luke Ford, the tight end, and there wasn't a Hawkeye within five yards. Well, and you know, when you don't have your free safety, the guy that calls the defensive plays in the game, that's Ooh. obviously a mix up of coverage there. Long count, low snap, and it goes between his legs. And Torrey's got to get on the football and does back at the 27 yard line. Oh my. Illinois will have it first and 10 at the Iowa 27. They fake the draw hand up. They're going to throw for it to the end zone, and it is incomplete. Riley Moss had blue light coverage. Here's the snap. Kick is long enough. It is good. And the Illini have a 10 0 lead. My, oh, my, oh, my. What else can go wrong for the Hawks here in the first 10 minutes of play? Charlie Jones is back deep. Ivory Kelly Martin is the up man at the five. Here comes the boot and it's headed Charlie's way again as it hooks to the left right at the goal line. Starts up the hash mark now cuts it to the near side. Gets the corner turn. He's got a blocker in front of him. Turns the corner. He's down the sideline. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Put it in the books. Charlie Jones. Charlie Casey Jones on the Illinois Central. Touchdown, Iowa. What kind of speed is that? He had two defenders that had an angle on him. 
and he was running sideways across the field. Uh, great blocking at great blocking at the point of attack. And then we'll find out who had this last block. All he needed was one. No flags. The Hawks in lightning fashion strike and get right back in the game. Oh, that, and that really puts the momentum back and helps that defense, which is tired from all the playing that they've done over the last few weeks. And even centuries worth 100 yard kick return for a score. <laughs> See if the Hawkeye defense now re-energized, hopefully, can get the ball right back in a three and out. Peters runs a draw hand off to Brown, and he's nailed in the backfield by Noah Shannon. Aurora, Illinois, Noah Shannon, 10-7 late in the first quarter. Here comes a jet sweep to Arlen Bruce. He's got blockers. He's got the corner turn. Out of bounds at the Illinois 38. And in the gun is Padilla. He's got Williams in the backfield. They're blitzing. He steps up in the pocket, lobs it down the sideline, and it's caught now as he inbounds. They're saying by Arlen go. Bruce, and it's a catch. It's a catch at the Illinois eight-yard line. Bye. Oh, oh, you only need one in. Out of a tight eye. Palisar, the fullback. They run wide with Arlen Bruce, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. The Hawks have the lead. Arlen Bruce showing me something there that he can take a hit and still go forward. Yeah, that real solid. He just spun into the end zone. This safety comes across and just tees off on him, but he would not be denied. for Brandon Peters. Hawks rushing four. Peters looks, throws, incomplete. Great play by Seth Benson. Man, oh man, running with that tight end and reach that right hand, that right arm across. And Padilla up under center to Lindebaum. Runs straight ahead with Goodson. Hops through a hole. He's still going. 20, 25. Cuts back. 30, 31 yard line. Out of the hole to Gersante and Luke Empen is the long snapper. Here's the kick. Caleb sends it downfield. It is good. 51 <laughs> yards for Caleb Shudak. He matches his long of 51. Peterson drops back. Has time. Throws. It is incomplete. Oh, intercepted. Intercepted. Picked off by Dane Belton. He's always in the intersection. He backed into that coverage. Illinois scored on its first two possessions. The Hawks roared back. Sparked by the 100-yard kickoff return of Charlie Jones to the end zone. 17-13 Hawks at halftime. The Heartland is brought to you by Hy-Vee, the official grocery partner of Iowa Hawkeye football. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. And by the University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. As we're ready to go in the second half, Iowa, Illinois. Again, here's Goodson. Here he comes over the middle again. Stop and go move. Shoots through a hole. Midfield, 46-yard line of Illinois. The kick will come from the 38, so it's a 48-yard field goal try. And it is good. He hooked it right through. I tell you, Caleb Shudak, he's been money. He's been the bank, <laughs> yeah. really. The Hawks have come back defensively, and here's Peters. Deep drop, Van Valkenburg given chase, hits him as he's about ready to cock and throw it. It's a sack. What an effort by Van Valkenburg of driving himself through the left tackle. Peters with a tailback and Chase Brown. They run the draw hand off to Brown. He goes nowhere, maybe a yard. Hawks were waiting for that. Fourth down and about five. Illinois will try the kick from the 44. McCourt, plenty of leg, and it is good. James McCourt, we talked about that Illinois kicking game all week long. Here comes another flag. Well, this is a bench. This has got to be a bench violation. This is uh, on Illinois because they're they got 20 guys out on the field. Let's see After what the, the call play, is. On sportsmanlike conduct, seven of Illinois. And number 42 of Illinois. Both those fouls will be enforced. Oh, my. First down. Post? Oh, my. Hawks will have to settle for the Shudak field goal. Come from 29 yards away and right down central. 
Iowa 23, Illinois 16. Double tight end formation to the right. On a play fake, straight back to pass. And Peters is sacked by Logan Lee, who came in from the blind side. Ran over the offensive lineman trying to block him. Just ran over him and passed the running back. Joe Evans is out there, defensive end. Van Valkenburg at the other end. And they're coming after Brandon Peters. Takes a deep drop, throws it over the middle, picked off, intercepted, intercepted, and running the other way with it. Jack Campbell, touchdown, 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 31. Jack Campbell. He may run like Matt Roth, but he knows where the end zone is. Game over, game set match. Final score, Iowa 33, Illinois 23. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Extreme, powered by Mediacom, the internet preferred by Hawk fans. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless and the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hold on just a minute. Oh, where's she went? She was right here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the shirt she just happened to wear today. What's up, Peyton? Hey, hey. There, you can hold the phone. So, uh, I actually got a surprise for you. If you want to you wanna know what it is. <laughs> so, we actually, um, your, me, your mom, and uh, my mom, we actually got some tickets for you to come to another game. We got, you got we got some for this weekend, so you, you can come up you can come up on Saturday. She's hugging me. Hold on. exciting. Yeah, we got we got you to come up this weekend, Peyton. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we all. Would you want to, or would you rather do something else? Oh, uh, I didn't think so. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to thank you for all the support, you know, that you uh, and your your family been giving me, and I uh, hope you have a good time this weekend. We will. We're going back to Iowa City. Okay, yes, you are going back to Iowa City. Tell him bye. He has to go to a meeting. Bye. Bye, Peyton. Thank you for calling. What's your What's some of your favorite things about teams? Um, it's good grades. It's good grades. Here, that guy. Here's about God. And a family. Right. That whole family does. Is a leader. He's a, he's a leader. Yeah. Is he kind? Yeah. And, oh, you always tell me he's funny. You're patient with my Down syndrome. He's patient with your Down syndrome. That, that really does make him special, doesn't it? Yeah. She's always very positive. She's funny. It amazes me the things that she knows and that she remembers. And she's very bright. And she's probably one of the bravest people I know. Uh, just facing all the challenges that she's faced, both intellectually and physically. A pacemaker, and you know, she has diabetes. So she's got a lot of things going on. But she's always very kind to everyone she knows. I think it, I think it humbled him because. Uh, you know, she could be a complainer because she's been through a lot of different surgeries and things of that nature, but she always has this upbeat spirit. So, you know, I'm sure, you know, some days if he's feeling down about his situation, things are not going as he wished they would or as well as he would hope they would. You know, just speaking to her, I'm sure that makes him do a, maybe a reality check and not think that his issues are so bad. So. Well, as a parent, um, or even as a person with an intellectual disability, there are a lot of times that you feel left out or different. And Tyrone gave her the experience of being treated just like every other student in the school and that she was valued and respected um, and wanting to be her friend. Laverna had said, I was talking about how wonderful it was, and she said, well, you have to experience an Iowa game at Iowa, because there's nothing like it. So this year, I was like, okay, Tyrone, you know, we need to come and see you play in your home stadium. 
and it was quite the experience. It was very exciting, and I couldn't wait to come back. Didn't think I would be coming back yet this year. So, um, and just watching him and knowing how important he is to her was really special. And we waved to her from the field when they were practicing beforehand, and we met with him afterward and went out to eat with him. And this is amazing. Uh, yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> Peyton and her family, um, they did a lot of things for me and my family. Um, always supported us through, you know, ups and downs, wins, losses. Um, they always cheered us on. And Peyton especially, um, she was kind of like, you know, my biggest fan. Um, so for us to show just a little bit of um, gratitude and, and show her that we are um, there for her as much as she is there for us, I feel like, you know, that meant the world for her. We just tried to let her know that, you know, she's not alone and anything that she's going through, um, you know, the Tracy family is always there for her. The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. And by Athletico Physical Therapy. It all starts here. So, you know, it was our last time in Kinnick. Um, and, you know, it was at a time when we when we needed it, we were down. Um, and it was just a, a design return back to the field. Um, a really good call by Coach Woods. Uh, and, you know, the guys out there were blocking really hard. Uh, Henry Marques um, had a big block. Um, and, you know, I just had made one cut and, and there was a lot of green grass and good blocking. So, you know, right when I got to, to the sideline, I kind of knew that um, this one was going to be the one that we finally score on, um, so it was pretty awesome. So we were obviously on the goal line, and uh, we had the jet sweep called, and I, I, I saw Potterbaum's block on the outside edge. I could have stretched it out, but something told me to just uh, go upfield, and I lowered my shoulder, and then I got across the end zone. It was just a crazy feeling. Just dropping back into pass coverage, and uh, I was just kind of in the right spot at the right time. Uh, I got the opportunity to grab a tip ball, and then. Um, once I caught it, uh, my first initial reaction was to go. I was gonna go take this thing to the house, and then uh, I was running. And I was thinking back to like fall camp, and I'm um, just in all these situations. Usually, you want to get down, just because it's it's under two minutes, and they only had one timeout left, I believe. And so I was kind of contemplating that, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun with it. I'm just gonna go as long as I can, and and no one took me down so I just kept going and that's kind of that and then just getting ready to go back out on the field so yeah I mean it's huge uh, it, it's a, it's a, every year you obviously want to keep the trophy home so it starts right there but then also just uh, it's, a, it's a rivalry game so we're gonna have to show up and they're, they're gonna be um, ready for the fight too uh, they're a very talented team and it's gonna take a lot of discipline um, and a lot of discipline and teamwork uh, to get this thing pushed over the top, but I'm excited. It's a short week, uh, so we're you know there's there's no off day for us, uh, so we're, we're we're right into it. Uh, so we just gotta stay focused, um, do what we always do, um, prepare the way we always prepare, and uh, and be ready for Friday. This has been a presentation from Learfield.